Hi, I'm Faith Anna, AE4FH. I'm Hope, cam 4 ipf And I'm Grace, cam 4 txt and welcome to hamradio.world. So, as many of you know, we're going to the Dry Tortugas, and we're also going to Marathon in July for the IOTA contest. So, Denny and me and Faith Anna need to try something. Today, we're making dinner in the rain, because if you're eating camp foods like this, it might be raining, so you better know that you can do it in the rain. What we're making for dinner today are foods by Mountain House. We have a whole bunch of different flavors. This one's spaghetti, which we're going to be making in the video. And we also have chicken and mashed potatoes and a few other things that I forget exactly what they're called. There's chicken dumplings and then chicken fajita bowl. I just read that. And chicken mashed potatoes. Did yeah. you mention that one? So yeah. Um, they're all good. And we're actually told that these foods by Mountain House are food actually really good. So a lot of the camping foods are like... You eat it because you have to, but we've been told that um, these are comfort these foods. These are, yeah, these are like comfort foods, and these are like if you have a choice between this and something else, then you would could you might choose this because it's actually pretty good. So we're going to make them today, and we have the stuff, the water, matches, our tiny little pot stove. And a spoon for scooping out our um, fuel. Yeah, fuel. So first, we need to get the stove and the pot out, which are actually pretty tiny. And, um, well, there's the lid. <laughs> and once I pull this out, um, I know we have used this before, but it was a long time ago, so we kind of have to relearn. So it has handles that fold out so you can use it. And the stove fits on the inside, so it's actually quite nice. So we'll just set that down there. And the lid, which I should get the handle up so we don't hurt ourselves. <laughs> uh, it didn't stay up, oh well. Anyway, so there's this, and on the inside, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's got markers to tell you how much you have in. So to start out, we've got to light the fire. So, Okay, that's not supposed to work. <laughs> so, um, we have the fuel here. Do you know what this is made out of? Yeah, we should actually learn what it's made out of. So another scoop of the oh. Hold it over so that in case it spills. I think that's enough. You want to leave this in? So, next there's we need, the fuel. Next we need our waterproof matches. Stand back. Hopefully this will work. Don't do that. Uh, don't Am do I going to light this? Yeah, but don't do it over you. They're supposed to be waterproof, so we're going to see how they work. I've never lit a match before. Do it quick. And she's scared. How do you do it? <laughs> you just drag it across. Like you would for a birthday cake. You have to do it fast enough. Don't break it. Did, it, did you break it? No, I saw a few it, sparks. It lit some because I smell it. I don't know how to do it. I don't want to waste the me. match. Oh, that's way better than mine. There we go. Oops. I dropped that's it in. Good. Good. So just leave it in. So now we need to pour the water. Cute little thing. Hold that. Cute little pot. Now put the water in first. Yeah, sorry about that match. <laughs> you went to good use. How much do I have? But see, it lights a good fire and pretty quick. So we need to let this boil. Put the lid on. We should probably get an oven mitt because those handles aren't very sturdy. Yeah. I have the mitts. Oh man, now my feet wet. <laughs> How long does this take? A while. 
Well, this, we're gonna have to come up with a different idea for fuel because we're using this wise food fuel and it's not really burning very well. It already blew out once, so we had to relight it. Maybe a sterno can or something. Hey, now. didn't we get marshmallows? Ooh, it actually kind of stinks. We put in a scoop more fuel because after burning for a little while, it was almost out of fuel. So I'm gonna try it out and see how the water's doing. The lid, I have noticed, makes a little suction, so it may be a little hard to open. Um, Not quite there. Well, we're gonna need some more fuel, so Grace. Fuel school. Do you want any more? It should be good for now. Did we just put another scoop in? It burns quickly. Yeah. So the water is just about boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and get this ready. Open package at term notch. Remove and discard oxygen absorber. Except it's super slippery. <laughs> Should have done this earlier. Scissors maybe. Uh, Cut. Right off. With some help with Daddy, we were able to start it because it's super slippery. So let's yeah. finish it. Whee! Oh, it's oh the powder. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. And it's only dry. There's many meatballs. I call first bite. Sorry, viewers. Hold that. What is that? Sorry, viewers. Careful, you'll have add to two cups boiling out. water. Get that, get that package all the way torn. Could be a problem. Hold that. Be very careful not to touch that. Get your feet out of the way. I'm working on it. Hmm. This could, be, could a be a problem. Turn the thing around on me. Ah, there we go. It's starting to boil now. You killed our fire. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Mm -hmm. Do you see how there's a spout on the other side? Yeah. Or it's in the spout. I think some dirt got in there. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, the package I read it earlier. It says Ooh, it to stir, um, stir about every four minutes, and let it sit about eight to nine minutes. Stir carefully and close zipper. Get that other bin tongue out of there. That looks delicious, and it smells good. It, it looks real. It doesn't look dehydrated. Hold that. Can I lick it? No. No, you're gonna burn yourself. Okay, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So it's been the time that we're supposed to wait and we're going to try it now. Yay! <laughs> It looks delicious. You want to zoom in? Because that looks delicious. <laughs> it's very hot. I'll just eat it. It's very hot. It's boiling. Oh, well, don't just eat it. Blow it. Still too hot. It's going to take forever. So that. <laughs> Doesn't it take a while? It takes longer for you to eat. Can you get it? Not bad. Can't reach it. It tastes like something I've tried before, but I don't know what it is. Getty? 
spaghetti no. O's? No, it doesn't really taste like spaghetti, but I'm not sure what it tastes like. I know what to call this flavor. Spaghetti sticks. Weird. Look, they're like new sticks. <coughs> I like it. It actually makes a lot more than I expected. Yeah, it's very hot, that's what I said. For something dehydrated, it's delicious. It's delicious in general. Yeah. Still boiling? delicious. Yes, it's delicious. Doesn't really taste like spaghetti, but it's still good. And we have learned that this wise, fu this wise food fuel doesn't really work, so we're going to have to find something else. And we learned that to make this, start earlier than you would expect. We also learned that this is, this, at least the spaghetti from Mountain House is actually pretty good, even though it doesn't tastes super lot like spaghetti don't spill um but it still tastes good and, and if there were smell of vision you'd be able to smell how delicious it is but if there were taste of vision you can't have any yes. it would be cool if i could though so <laughs> another thing we learned that if you're going to make this start earlier than you would expect so that you're actually able to make it in yeah it's hot <laughs> to make it um, by the time that you would normally eat. So we have other flavors, chicken and mashed potatoes, chicken fajita bowl, and chicken and dumplings. These are like all chicken. Uh, and yeah, then we got more stuff. Though. And then we have a dessert one that's, um, I think it's raspberry cobbler or something like raspberry that. Raspberry crumble. Right, something like that. It's delicious sounding. So we're gonna try all those. We're not gonna make videos of us eating them or making them, but we will let you know how each of them are, is, whatever. Don't need it all. We made all of them, um, the rest on the stove because it would have taken a long time to do it out here. Over two hours or so. Yeah, it would have taken like two hours to make it if we did it out here. So the spaghetti, um, it kind of tasted like SpaghettiOs, um, a little better though. And the chicken and dumplings, that was really good. That's like a comfort food. It was so good. That's like a, even though the package has two servings, you'd eat it yourself kind of meal. And the chicken fajita bowl, it was okay. I mean, we'd eat it, but it wasn't our favorite. I, and she's eating all the raspberry crumble, <laughs> which is actually pretty good. We're gonna wait to try it cold if there's any left when she's done. Mine. It's my favorite. <laughs> and that's actually pretty good, too. Okay, stop, stop eating it. <laughs> I should probably just stop eating it. My favorite is probably the spaghetti sticks. Mm, maybe the one last. Yeah, the spaghetti sticks were pretty good. <gasps> the spaghetti was good. The chicken and dumplings was good. Um. The fajita was a little spicy, but I liked it. Um, I like this thing. We should try it cold. Yeah. And this has like chocolate Oreo cookies in it too, so that's really good. Yeah, so you like pour it on top and it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well 73. 73. 73. Save me some of that, okay? No. <laughs>